So I'm going to attempt a 200 kilometer bike ride. With that being said, what I want to do is do a video vlog every single day. 55 videos every single day until August 25th, maybe longer. We'll see how we feel. Okay, day two is upon us. Hey, it's day three and I get fitted for my bike at Trek Pro City Victoria and I think I said that correctly. Hey, welcome to day six. Yeah, more than one hand, woo! Okay, so one week down. So far, so good. I'm one week in, I feel pretty good. I'm quite sore. My knees are kind of bugging me, but that's why I'm gonna go see Synergy Health tomorrow. Good morning, day eight. So it's day number nine. So we're 10 days in, believe it or not. Hey Google, what day is it today? So it's uh, July 23rd, 23 days in a row. Okay, day 26, day 34. Okay, day 40. Uh, yeah, feeling stronger, getting leaner. Okay, day 46. Today we're getting into cycling gear. But today it's day 54. And that means that after work, I'm going to the ferry. Uh, so I'm gonna cycle from Tawasson Ferry Terminal to Cloverdale. I've mapped it out, uh, put it all up. I'm gonna put it up on the video. And it's about 37 kilometers. Okay, so round one of the Ride to Conquer Cancer. Day 55. Yeah. All right, so let's start with introductions. What is your name? Kay. What are you doing? Why are you doing it? Cool, so I'm, uh, I'm Jesse Minty. Um, I am doing a video vlog. As you can see, I am almost 55 days in, and uh, I am starting to look like a cyclist. I got waxed legs. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> ow. So I'm wearing spandex, middle-aged man in lycra. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, my whole idea for this, this concept was to take an average guy that was just under the age of 40, I'm 39, uh, put him onto a bike, and I haven't been on a bike in 15 years, to, uh, yeah, better, just to inspire people. I'm training for the Ride to Conquer Cancer. It's a, fifth, a 200 kilometer bike ride from Vancouver to Hope. The reason why I'm doing this is, uh, to inspire a lot of other people to do the ride, thus they'll create, they'll raise more money, more more ridership, more people supporting, and the cycling community in Victoria is awesome. So why not show what we have to offer? Okay, so here's the rig we've got Jesse set up with. Uh, this is the Trek Amanda. Uh, the Amanda is their all-round bike that does everything amazing. So it's lightweight, climbs really well, super speedy. Uh, and also comfortable at the same time. Okay, Jesse, next we're gonna get you set up on your bike to make you the most efficient and the most comfortable you can for the whole duration of your ride. Okay. Uh, so there's little tweaks that we can do to make you maybe a little bit more powerful or spin a bit smoother, but what we want is the best for the longest duration. Yeah, now you're, you're at that distance now. Well, I think today we need to talk about, we've talked about a lot of our essentials. I think we need to get you some carbohydrates. Um, because that's, that's what you're using. Okay, so today is day number 15, and I traveled over to Vancouver to meet a friend. Hey, Jesse, how's it going? Ah, it's going well. Okay, so I'm just getting the mat set up. We're gonna do your gait analysis today. So, and measure basically all your foot function, leg length analysis, stride uh, mechanics. Uh, you have eight weeks from the time we're starting uh, to, uh, to your event. But we're going to build you up for three weeks. So this first three week little block here, uh, each week we're going to uh, apply a little bit more training stress, a little bit more volume. Um, and then I'm going to give you a little bit of recovery. And then I'm going to do two, uh, basically two and a half, uh, really good weeks uh, that will build on those first three. Um, and then about 10 days out, I'm going to taper you off a little bit. Start, start your week or Monday uh, with a recovery day. Uh, you're going to see the people at Synergy. 
Okay, day 36. It's going. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little sore today. Uh, climbing Mount Doug twice. Uh, first time was hard, second time was incredibly hard. I'm a little sore, but that's where acupuncture comes into play. So whenever you're training to have like really high achievement in one area, whether it's your work, exercise, personal life, or family, you can really train to rest. And getting from this high level pace, high fast, multitasking life to get down to a slower, hey, I'm just reading a book. The next day in the lineup is Tuesdays and that's where I'm gonna throw some really hard work at you. Uh, this is gonna be your higher intensity day, so that's gonna be like hills primarily. Yeah. Wednesday through Saturday, uh, we, we kind of land in your key work days. Uh, you're gonna commute to and from work, yep. which is huge because you know if you're about an hour in each direction on four days, that's eight hours of riding. And then on Wednesdays and Fridays, there's gonna be a strength component. The community that, that Victoria has for cycling has been awesome. Uh, everybody's friendly, everybody's waving at each other, high-fiving each other. Everybody is just like a tribe of, of fit, happy, like-minded people that are it's just awesome. Yeah, so, yeah, the biggest thing I would say is just like, you know, stop talking about it, start doing it. Uh, just, yeah, like, you know, the only thing standing in your way is this. Yeah, obviously, you must have had to make sacrifices for this. It's like free time, social time. Oh, yeah, like, that's like, all at the window. Like, I just don't have any, I haven't had any free time. I think I've had one day off in 55 days. My whole summer's gone. Uh, but you know, I, do I see myself stopping? Hell no. Oh, I got rid of my car because the only way for me to actually do this challenge is to get rid of the car, and truthfully be told, just bike. We just did uh, five times up and down Mount Tomy. And when I first started this challenge, I had a hard time going up once. Uh, I've done a lot of the hills around here and uh, I was weak. I, I found myself just to be stronger every day and, and a lot of different trainers and a lot of different coaches and all these masters of their own craft that I helped me to do the 55 day video challenge. It really worked. I've, a lot of stuff I had no idea about, it just simply worked. So 55 days and a video every day and here we are. Now, here we are, 6.30, all these fancy bikes. Day two, here we are, I'm a little sore, but you know, that is not an excuse. So, game on. Okay, so uh, 225 kilometers down, not 200 kilometers, 225, we're in Hope, a little stiff, not that bad actually, feel great, lots of camaraderie, a great team for the BC Cancer Foundation, I'm on their team, see, Jersey. Yeah, so uh, biggest thing I would say is stop talking about it and start doing it. I was thinking like why not take within the course of a year a guy that hasn't been on a bike in 15 years gets trained builds a community and happens to cycle across the country and that's 7,000 kilometers so that's what I'm gearing up for <laughs>